put my head down and just work work my ass off and was able to get to this point and you know over the last about a month it really started feeling pretty good and um, you know so whatever let's let's give it a shot let's let's go let's go try to win a game and uh, unfortunately the game was short today what did it mean to be able to join your teammates out in the field yeah it means it means everything it's uh you know that's why we do it we do it for each other and you know after a year where you know, I wasn't able to run out of the tunnel and, and be with with my guys. It, it sucked. So today was a pretty surreal moment, and you know, I'm proud of myself for everything with this year and, and getting out there and, and giving them my all and, and trying to help this team win. Are you surprised you were able to make it through the entire game? Was there any question mark in your head? No, there was no question mark. I mean, if I was going to go, I was going to go. Um, you know, they would have had to drag, drag me off that field. So there was no question in my mind that I was going the whole game. And Ryan, in the, in the second quarter, the beginning of the second quarter, key sequence where you don't get the touchdown. It's not the whole game. How big was that? Though? I mean, when you get inside the 10-yard line, you don't get any points. It's a, it's a huge turning point. And, uh, it's, an, it's unfortunate, uh, that situation. Uh, obviously, uh, swayed the momentum uh, to Dallas, and we weren't able to recover. And I know you've been saying this here just as we came on. It's been frustrating to stand and watch, but this has kind of been a microcosm tonight of the season where you've had trouble, start, stop, get points, not get points, right? Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's one, of those, one of those years, unfortunately, and um, you know, frustrating to watch and, and frustrating to play um, when you know, you're just not playing at a, at a high level, and, and unfortunately, uh, it nipped us in the butt tonight. Right, well, I know thank you're pretty, you. pretty tough, tonight, Tom, obviously. Yeah, yeah. How much have you won, you know, and you just and everybody in the room wonders what, 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 what they'll have to do, and, you know, it's obviously going to be a big theme to the offseason. Yeah, you know, it's just, that's just it's what it is. You know, it's, it's part of the business, and, you know, we love Tom. We love to have him back, and, uh, you know, I love playing with him. You know, he's, he's a good friend. He's helped me a lot through this this year with get my injury, you know, healed, and, and pushing me and motivating me throughout the year, so uh, we'd love to have him back. Is there any part of you that wonders if that was his last trot off his field and you would not want to think about that? I mean, it's just it's, it's, <laughs> thinking about it, dreading about it, isn't going to change the fact that if he if he's back there next year, if he, if he's not, so um, you know, it's just part of the business. Ryan, what did you do to the knee back in your training <laughs> camp? So, yeah, it was it was a pretty severe injury, um, which a lot of people I know were confused on why I didn't have surgery, but. I ended up tearing my MCL, my ACL, my PCL. I flipped my meniscus. I had a fracture and I, uh, another little thing, uh, <laughs> another little bone chip thing. I don't know. So it was it was a major injury, and um, I was as fortunate as I could be um, with the way the injury happened, where I didn't have to have surgery and it was able to heal on its own. So um, yes, yeah, five months and, and trying to come back off of that. Three ligament tears. Yeah. So. It was um, something called dumb, but I, you know I'm a football player, and football players play football. So. Do you think you'll need off-season surgery on anything? You know, I, I, not at this point, I, I think uh, we're pretty good, and uh, we'll get into the off-season and see how everything goes. And uh, but the fact that I was able to come back and play uh, tells me that I'm probably not going to need any surgery. What were these last five months like for you? It was it was tough. You know, I learned a lot about myself. Yeah. You know, it's a uh, it's a very lonely moment when you're laying on the field, and you you know. Your season's probably over, so it was a it was a, a test mentally, uh, along alongside physically. Obviously, wanted to be out on the field with, with my brothers and, and competing and, and fighting and, and stuff like that. So yeah, it, it was a tough five months, but um, you know, there's a lot of silver linings that come with it. You know, um, able to take my kids to school, you know, you know, early on before I was in. You know, it's just little things like that to try to make a, a really bad situation a good situation. So, you know, just little things that I haven't been able to do for the last 10 years. You know, it was, it was kind of cool. It was kind of humbling and, and, you know, made it this much, you know, made football that much more special, you know. Um, when, I, when I came back a couple weeks ago and had my 21 day uh, window open I, that first day, I mean, it was having, <laughs> life's better with a helmet on. <laughs> and it's just, it's just a ton of fun and, uh, you know, unfortunately, ended this way, but I'm excited to uh, get back to work soon. How much did it help at hearing all the outpouring of support from fans, <laughs> from teammates? No, it's everybody. No, it's it's humbling. It's it's awesome. Uh, you know, I love it here. The fans are great. Um, you know, I was just happy to be able to try to contribute tonight and and try to win a game. From an X's and O's kind of standpoint, do you have a, a something you would tell a fan as to that they 
they asked you what went wrong with the offense this year? I mean, there's there's just things that in execution it just wasn't up to snuff and just stuff like that. It's there's it's a very complex question, you know, from you know injury standpoint to other things. It's just it was just a tough year. What does Tom Brady mean to you if if this was his last time? I mean, you know, Tom has been a has been a friend for the last couple of years. Um, when I signed here in 18, the last person I ever thought I'd be snapping the football to was, was Tom Brady. So, um, you know, built a, a good friendship with him. And, um, you know, it sucks going out this way, um, you know, at least for this season for him. But, you know, we'll see, see what happens. When the Glazers on down, they said, you know, year one, everyone in the organization said that he changed the culture in the building. Just looking back at the three years, what has that meant to you? Just what he what he meant to this organization? Yeah, you know, and I, it started. You know, I, I feel like with BA in, in nineteen, and then obviously uh, Tom coming in really he, he you know commands excellence, and um, you know that's that's just something that he helped help build on top of you know other other changes that were made. Ryan, no Thanks, Ryan. Really see out like that in five months. Is there something you did that was unique? I think the way, so for my ACL wasn't a full, wasn't a full tear. It was a partial tear about halfway through, um, luckily. So, um, you know, there was a lot of different opinions on what I should get done. And um, I went with, went with this route. There was some doctor saying I needed surgery. Um, there was only one doctor that said I didn't need surgery. And that he said, give me eight weeks and, and then we'll go from there. So, um, yeah, so it's uh just one of those freak things, I guess. I don't know. I got lucky with how everything tore and uh, was able to try to come back and play in the playoffs. So.